Hello, this is Patrick Rorica, team leader of Team 9. This is our game, Dementia. We are the People Studio. Welcome. This is going to be a quick playthrough. I'm going to be skipping through the top points because that was already in the demonstration. Alright, as you can see here on the right, we have a turret that has automated shooting. It does cause a little bit of frame rate lag though, which is unfortunate. But uh, the bullets do, when they do hit, they do take health as you can see. I got hit once. I got uh, one health bar lost. So now I'm going to jump up here. And I'm going to set. Click this once. As you can see, the player is drawn to the light. And now, with my awesome debug jump skills, I'm going to jump through this. Now, ideally, we could use the controller that we were working on towards the end. We had delayed the development of the controller due to problems acquiring an asset to use, but uh, the mechanism controller is starting to become quite advanced. However, we originally stuck with character controller uh, physics as opposed to um, through a good body, which made it uh, a bit awkward to add for playtesting at the last minute. So here we go, now the player is curious and will be jumping up. Ideally the dimension switching is which is what we did right there. The, the player would be curious, would get a tooltip and realize that the dimensions are a bit different. Perhaps from the floor they'd press J and see that the dimensions are indeed different. As you can see, different dimensions. Oh, look at that, there's a treasure box up there. So, we go up here and it comes to. We grab the treasure now, only 10 gold. We drop down here to where the turret was, sneak behind it. And switch dimensions once more. We sneak up behind it, disarm it, and now it should not shoot at me. Please don't shoot at me. As you can see, it is not shooting at me. Now we place the box onto the pressure pad over there. So what's going on here is the uh, the box is actually it's it's Y coordinate system is messed up from the level, so it tends to get a little goofy. I'm tending to use my debug skills to get it to move. There we go. And then once on the pressure pad, the animation for that should be starting. There we go. Now this is something that we didn't have time to take out of the final demonstration was the little bit of a glitchy animation. So this is what happens if the animation's on loop, causing it to go back up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh it's going to be doing this unfortunately. So we're going to move cheat and progress forward. The cheat brings us to the top here. So oh, you can this see is the thing that the thing is still moving up. Oh, and this down. is the reactor from my lab. On entrance we trigger the uh, arc collider machine to use audio. Uh, a lot of the actions are used in using a action box, which is an invisible game object in front of us, which is used for such as pressing buttons and picking up treasure chests and so forth. Um, the gun is using a little bit of sphere casting. Once upon, once you enter a certain range, it, it hits you, and at all times it's always sphere casting in your direction, simply using this simple math equation transform 
dot target or target dot transform minus target or uh, transform of the actual turret. So the dirt the target minus the current position results in the vector from the position to the target. Alright, so now that we're here, we press E, we attempt to trigger the play. Causes a little bit of an animation. And we skip ahead to this little animation. We see a spaceship fall, crash down. And, you know, there's a hole. So, to begin with, the player will explore. There's turrets up there which shoot at you. Once again, the controller is extremely buggy, so that I, this, uh, the jumping is the debugging specifically. We enter here, there's another chest. We pick that up, that way up to 70 gold. Down there is a actually is a treasure chest. Sorry, not a treasure chest, a, a Coca Cola, a Nuka Cola machine which offers guns and so forth, ideally. So the, the idea is to get enough money for one in order to destroy bad guys later on. Uh, there's a secret level actually. We jump through into the well, trigger it to transport us to another dimension. Here is the exploratory level, but here we see a bit of basic AI. As you can see, they chase you down until you exit their range. We get a little bit of extra money for actually finding this place. And to exit this area, you need to simply find the exit to the village, which is actually a bit of a task in itself. There we go, the gatehouse. And now we have exited the area. A little bit of a terrain area. And off we go. To progress back to the other level, let's press that meet, which is All right, so we are going through that area. Ideally, you want to throw this over the edge, but you really can't. So we make the jump and cross over. So now, because earlier you paused the object in time, above it and the idea is to utilize that to jump up. And here we have a little bit of goofy uh, rendering, but uh, let's just jump up and jump inside. There we go. If we switch dimensions once more, we will see that this area has a bit of a glow. We press the action key and now we have entered the final sequence. Our city has been destroyed, and now the protagonist is like, well, I got to do something. And then that is the final part of the game, to be continued. Alright, thank you, this is Patrick Waborka, and uh, hope that you enjoyed this quick little speedrun of Dementia. Mechanics and scripts and so forth will be discussed in our project reports. Please read our documentation to find out more about features that were 
not able to be implemented into this game.